So why are you here? Well, why are the main, what, <laughs> I can't even speak. Hey, welcome to Blue Collar Crypto. It's your boy, Crypto G. It is Wednesday. It was a holiday Monday. Um, actually, we were at the air show at this uh, beautiful condo, downtown Toronto. Check this out. 63 high, coming in on target. You need to move a little faster than that, son. All right, yeah. Wow, what a crazy time. And I've never been that close to an air show before, especially at that height. It's the 42nd floor. <laughs> and a quick thank you to our uh, KOS business partner, uh, George, for uh, hooking that all up for us. That was a nice, nice time. Nice way to uh, spend uh, Labor Day. Um, okay, this is the big news. All right, so why are we here? the market crashed and I just wanted to go over why. So let's break it down. So BTC broke 56 uh, K and it went down and touched actually 55,600. Here's some of the reasons why. Number one, if you saw the U S stock market crashed, the S and P 500 dumped 2.1%. The NASDAQ dumped 3.26% and Nvidia dumped nearly 10% due to the uh, d um, Department of Justice subpoena that they got. So that become very bearish sentiment. Um, also, the main reason for the stock market to uh, collapse was the fear of the new job data that came up. So the economic slowdown is definitely a huge reason why all of this is starting to happen. So why would I say it's still bullish? More on that later. Um, number two, Japanese stock market dumped. It seems that the yen carry that they, we talked about uh, about a month ago, um, it's not fully unwound yet, so it's still unwinding. So there's still going to be some uh, big sell-offs and uh, big uh, movements where they're going to move assets into different spots, creating dumps in the uh in the sectors or the spaces that they remove these assets from. So with that, I, it's still the Japanese yen trade is still uh, not completely done. So you're still going to, we're still going to see some backlash and we believe that's on top of why everything was crashing. Um, the other thing was the outflows to uh, the ETFs. There was a huge outflow meaning sell-offs. So people were, there was more outflow of ETF than inflow. Does that make sense? So we were, they were closing or they were, uh, I guess closing, yeah, closing more deals than they were opening. Um, so they had an outflow of 288 million yesterday. That's, that's a lot. Wow, I didn't know it was that high. There's the largest outflow of Bitcoin ETFs in the last four months. All right. And then the last one, big liquidations. The last 24 uh, hours, there was 170 million worth of longs that were liquidated. So all of our DGENs that were in long positions that didn't have stop losses. Ooh, that would have been bad. Always use a stop loss. Always. Uh, the liquidations the liquidations caused exchanges for selling uh, your coins, which resulted in an even bigger dump. So because of the leverage 
And because exchanges were losing, they had to sell as well to keep up with the uh, people that were cashing out. And as expected, September is turning out to be a bad month for BTC and crypto because just like one of our other KOS and DGEN traders said, Aldo, he mentioned it when we were uh, on our way to Toronto. He said September is a bad month for trading historically. So you're to hear blue collar people be careful in September. And I still, I still say Halloween is going to be our moment, right? Halloween is going to be our moment. All right, so that is why the crypto market dumped. So what do you do? Do you panic? No, it dumped. So if you have dry powder, buy. If you don't, just wait. Everything's still going to rise. You got to you gotta be patient. It's an investment. You guys don't understand. Like investments, like we always say, you always invest whatever you can afford to lose. That's always how it goes. You never take a loan for an investment. You know, you never, you try not to buy your BTC or your crypto with a credit card because now you just still have to pay that. It's just, it's better to just utilize funds that you can afford to lose. Funds that aren't part of your everyday living. That's where you can move in this space. You don't need thousands of dollars to start. You can start with 50 bucks. Go to quicklearncrypto.com. Learn how to start today. Learn how to start making money in this space. And you'll realize how easy it is. And you'll realize that so many other people should be doing this because now you control your own money. Don't you want to control your own money? That's, that's the way it should be. We're being brainwashed that they're allowed to control our funds. No. Why? Why? Soon you're going to let them control your lives. Oh, yeah. We already did that, COVID. <laughs> um, I think that's it. I will go over some of the news, not just from the uh, crypto dump, but just the uh, crypto and financial news that makes sense to Blue Collar. I All right. Give us five minutes. The news will be on in five minutes. One second. This episode is brought to you by Copper Rose Distillery. This vodka is so good, it's probably the only asset Blue Collar Crypto is not going to trade. Oi, oi. Guess who's back in the mother parking house? It's Uncle Tito. Now I go to find the nurse today because I'm trying to, you know, do what is best for the show. Okay, number one, let's look at this evolution of money. First, we were bartering things other things and then it became coins but then they found out that the coins were being fake fake you know that's what I said I said fake fake coins and then cash then cash become fake too because the Nixon take up the gold you know standard for the cash then electronic money this is the debit credit you know that the tap 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 you know and then finally our industry our space our love our decentralized pack the government and everybody that wants to know your business funds crypto okay next It is not the button. Now look at this. Just one year ago, look at the comparison of the Bitcoin. 25000 to 57000 If you didn't buy, you're so stupid. Like, you're even listening to the show. You don't even have uh, assets. You asset. 
And look at this comparison to the Ethereum, the BNB, and the Doge. The Doge, I used to have that Doge, but not, not anymore, that Doge. Wow. Do you know? In 2009, if you just invested $1 in Bitcoin, then it's going to be $66 million today. My God, my voice kept getting higher and higher because of that. Oh, Prince Philip of Serbia, he says Bitcoin is freedom. Something I want for Serbia and the world. And you know, there's uh, many Team Serbia in our uh, KOS. So yeah, you better watch out. They sound like European gangster hitmen when I talk to them in the Zoom. Huh. And the BRICS. Almost 160 countries will adopt the new BRICS payment system. BRICS pay. It will be crypto. And now after this having, now that it's finished, 94% of the Bitcoin's total supply has now been mined. Put that in your mind. Okay, that's it. Everybody is starting to wake up upstairs. I better go. Start making breakfast. This is Uncle Tito for Blue Color Crypto visiting my nephew in his house. Thank you. All right. <laughs> this is Blue Collar Crypto and your boy Crypto G. Have a good Wednesday. I'll update you on Instagram if anything comes up. Take care. I'm so tired. <laughs> All right. I should just leave it like this. You know... <laughs>